I gotta start over. Okay. Hello. I'm back. Uh, <coughs> I'm Horrible, I know. And I'm back with another Horrible music mix. Uh, I like, I love this. This is fun. A lot of fun being able to make music mixes again, like mixtapes, like little CDs back in the day. I forget how I uh, introed in the first one. This is the second episode mix whatever you want to call this uh in my last video which will be a probably a, well whatever my last video i promised that i i bring out my favorite filipino songs and so this is what it is what 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 we're doing this is the thing that we're doing right now so um the the playlist is in the description and uh you know even at the end of the video you can see it and so this is gonna be fun we're gonna have fun I, mean, I know it's a dour tough world right now governments of the world are you know hate fun they're trying to decrease the fun and you know sometimes the internet you know try ruining everybody's fun but here we are we're about to have fun i'm sorry i'm i'm horrible i know fun is bad but let's just play hit the hit the play button all right so um first off you know like oh well first things first i might mess up some of these filipino words tagalog words i might even just miss messed up well, filipina filipinas words um i that that might be completely wrong um, um you know uh i'm horrible i know take everything that i say with the or i'm horrible i know um so but you know like here's here's a here's a word you know that i can say bugs a book i think did i say that right i don't know that's a word but it, it translates as trial so which is uh itchy 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 what the heck why why is my nose itching um i'm having a huge trial right now with this nose is itchy what the heck is going on is there a bug in here what's going on uh anyways we're gonna talk about my all-time favorite filipino song which is number one in the playlist uh the, the song that i want you everyone to listen to the most it's called bugsu book by kitchen nadal uh, and kitchen nadal is the only one who has ever sung this song nobody else um, no, this is a cover uh, by her. I know that. I think that there's a few people that have, have sung this song, but nobody does it. I feel no offense in the best way as Kitchy does. This rendition or this arrangement is absolutely fan, 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 ta, fan, 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 phenomenal, phenom, it's a phenomenon. There, there we, there we go. That's the word. Uh, Filipino phenomenon. Ugh, just that intro. It's like there's something like grungy about it. There's something. There's moments that are like pop. I just love that violin has an almost like grunge aspect to it like a kind of a rock not really like a classic or a poppy and then she she goes up to so like it's almost it's like an angel lost their wings and trying to get them back you know it's something about it it's like there's something angelic but also like like an angel or a person having a fight and that's kind of what the song is about like it's about like you know fighting you know failure and doubt disturbing your mind don't give up those are just trials and you fight don't stop fighting. Don't give up your fight. 
Those with dark fate will never be turned down by our Father, our Creator. So I was like, just. Daisy Bun. I might sing a little, so I'm I'm horrible. I don't, and I, I'm not very good at singing. Um, but let's, you know, I could I could listen to this song. This could just be the entire playlist, just this song, because this is my number one. There's no song you can leave. You can send me recommendations, but there's no song that you that the Philippines has that could beat this song for me. This is this is it. This is the pinna pinnacle. Yeah, so, but, um, you know, we got to move into my next, my next top two of all time, like, Filipino songs. Like, this one, both of them are very personal, come from, you know, like, the other one I I heard a long time ago, this one, I, you know, um, I heard last year after I just had my daughter and so like you know we went to a Filipino market and this song came over and just hit me with like emotions and I'm talking about Ika at Ika at the Co by Jason and Moira but we're doing the, the acoustic version where they recorded at their their apartment or wherever or their house with their little dog on Moira's chest. I don't know the words, but I know. <laughs> that, well, I need to look up the words, but... I forget what this translates as. Ah. I want to look it up, but we don't got that much time. I don't want to be on here for like an hour doing this. You know, I got I got fourteen more songs to go. So, of course, I love both our voices. But, um, shh, don't tell G, don't tell them. I like Moira more. <laughs> Moira more. Don't tell J Jason. Sorry, don't, don't tell him. Shh. But moving on, moving on. We got to move on to the next song. This is a little throwback as well. Let's, let's take a journey to, um, 2010. I know a place. The boot is always better. Jinomoto in the water? What did he say? I don't know that one. I know a few of these things. But we're talking about Filipino foods. A California girl's parody. I'm I'm a goof. I love parody songs. And I just always remember this song from way back in the day when it came out. I think it got, I think it got recommended to me because I wound up watching a bunch of uh, Mikey Bustos, and somehow it wound up on my my YouTube recommendations way back in the day. So I just remember this song. It kind of exposed me to a, a few like of the dishes, and then eventually, you know, since I'm married to a Filipino wife, like, you know. Um, I've tried, you know, pretty much a lot. Hit that thumbs up if you'd like like to know what my favorite Filipino dishes are. I don't I don't know when I'm going to tell you that, but you know, if we get enough get enough thumbs ups, then um I will tell you. But Let's move on. So that's absolutely fun. That's fun times. Like I said, this is going to be fun. Um, next, we're talking, how do you say your name? Yang, Constantino, Taimin. Woof.
Ah, it's good. Sorry, I just... I'm enjoying this too much. Now we go to a song I really, really love. I mean, I like that one. Don't get me wrong. But I really, really, really love this. Especially because of the music video. And we're talking about... Um, how, do you, how do you say this? Zach. That, that's easy. Um, Tabudlo. I think I said that right. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm a goof. Uh, Beanie Beanie. I wish he said his name in the song, like DJ Khaled. Then I could be like, you know, oh, that's how you say it. I should look up some interviews or whatever. But I just love this video is so cute. These little, these little kids who shouldn't be dating. They're trying to go on a date. Yeah, you're gonna break up, of course. Nobody like, very few sort of, like relationship relationships survive you know middle school and this, these are like adults i don't know they look like little middle schoolers they could be adults though you know but so it's cute it's cute if they're middle schoolers you know or well i don't know if you have middle school in the philippines so but basically you know like maybe they're eight their eighth year of school they look like 14 maybe if they're adults it's not cute then <laughs> just kidding i'm horrible i know oh gosh but i just love it. it's 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 reverse and then the rain's going up it's so crazy and then Zach's got, oh, I just love that. Uh, so good. Uh, I can't, sp I shouldn't spend too much time just, you know, me listening to the songs. But, you know, it's what I get to do whatever I want to do. So the next song is, uh, Dati? Dati? Wait, what? What is the name of this? Dati? Ah, uh, so Dati by Sam Concepcion uh, and Tippy Dos Santos featuring, featuring Quest. This old. 2013 but yeah it is. I got a little I got a few throwbacks in here you know and I got a few new songs by a few throwbacks I mean like a lot of a lot of the music that I uh, know from the Philippines is pretty old So good. Um, next is Hanggang Nayon by Philip and Clarice. This is a cover. I know that. This is old from 2011 when this blew up. So this is just, this is one of those 2011 YouTube covers. Of Yeah, and you know it's like what is there left? I don't I don't know what left to say. Like I just you know that's one of the songs that got to me back in the day. I got you know recommended from a friend, and maybe we were more than friends too. Ooh. <laughs> Next we got uh, we got to do some more parody. We gotta enjoy yourself. Like I mentioned, did I mention earlier? I think I mentioned at some point about Mikey Mikey Busto. So that was a little a little um, Easter egg that we were gonna, you know, we were gonna come Mikey Bustos, you know. So this is such a good, so crazy. Like 
we're gonna talk about Bilek Bayenbox, like you know, which is a uh, parody of Wrecking Ball by Miley Bieber. Is that her name? Uh, Justin Cyrus, I think is something like that. Uh, you know, let me know if you if you remember the name of the person that did Wrecking Ball. I'm horrible, I know. It's crazy. So he took Wrecking Ball and input Balak Bayan Box. Like, that's just somehow, and somehow it works musically. And, you know, I know about the Balak Bayan Box and... Yeah. Yes. So, and then he just goes through all the stuff that's getting sent there. And then this, you know, this is a throwback too. It's, it's uh, Mahal Kita Kasi by Nicole Hiala. Hiala? Hiala? Or Hiala? I don't know. <laughs> uh yeah, I'm horrible I know. Can't smile without you. It's so it's cheesy but key league and you know, it's got that it's just so silly and fun. Like, we need more fun and, you know, just lovey-dovey, little lovey-doveyness is, you know, it's not wrong. It's it's good, right? You know, and then we got a, a major throwback. How old is this even? Um, we're talking, you know, this is a recent, like, discovery, though. But we're talking about a really old... Like, band, this looks like 80s, but I don't know exactly what year this came out. But we're talking about uh, Smoky Mountain, Kailan. So, that's the next one. This has, this really just has like a plastic love kind of, uh, not really like a feel, but it just reminds me of kind of like that. Like, this is the Filipino version of, like, that Japanese style from the 80s. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Just enjoying the songs a little bit. Uh-huh. So, number 11 now. We're almost done. Oh no. How sad. How sad. We're almost done. Ooh. For number 11. This is old too. Wow. I've, okay. I've got a lot of more old. Older stuff. In here. But we're going Moonstar 88. Migraine. I think I got a lot of uh, female singers on here too. Like you wouldn't expect it, would you? Expect more rock, maybe from me. This is kind of rocky though. A little bit of like a pop rock. Yeah, and then we're, I think we're going a little further back. And we're talking about Ini Big, Ini Big, Ini Big Kita by Roel Cortez. I don't know how old this is, but it sounds like a, like a 60s song. It reminds me of like some 60s songs. Take that for what it is. I don't know, but there's there's a Spanish song that this really reminds me of. Outside of some of the, you know, there's some Spanish words in Tagalog, Tagalog, 
Did I say that right? I don't think I said that right. Um, <laughs> I'm horrible, I know. Uh, but yeah, this is such a great, nice little folkish song. And then it, and then it builds to that chorus. And then I love the inflection at the end of Sayo. Like, it's just this question. It's like a question, you know. So he's asking these questions, you know, and this is. It builds. I love when songs build. I also like when songs just hit the ground running. Is you know, I like some rock. So I think this is a little bit of more rock, funk, mix, poppy, like a. I don't know how you say like a. What do they call this style? So it's Ben and Ben. Right or Ben at Ben, Upuan. I you you can you know hit that subscribe button if I said that wrong or right either either way hit the subscribe button I'm more blue I know. say about this song but it's just it's so good I love that style just how do you it sounds like he's saying something in Mulan what happened in Mulan which which part of Mulan did you like something in Mulan what happened that's what it sounds like to me it's like I like Mulan too which part was it? Was it the make a man out of you? Or is it you talking about something in Mulan? And then I know it's, he's not saying that, but I mean, like it's the reflection or let's say the strength that she has. I, you know, it's just, it's just fun to think about that. Ooh, that beat is so good. Funky. But let's move on. Let's move on. We gotta keep going. So I mean, you gotta, you gotta like, I guess, include the diva, the queen herself, Leia Salonga, Jasmine. It's gotta be on this list. Um, just you know, just cause you know, such major history. And this, I love this song too. It's like. You know, and it's also a little easier to like, you know, pat out this list a little bit by throwing a Leia Salonga song on there. But I love this song too. Anyway, so Bucket, Bucket, La Vis Kitang Mahal. Take that as you like. <laughs> I'm over blue, I know. Yeah, so like, I love this one. It's got like a, it's almost yeah, like she is such a, like a Celine Dion. It's sad that she didn't, like it's sad that she didn't really pop as much as Celine outside of the Philippines. You know, I mean, she had a major career in the Philippines, but like, and she did have a, a okay career in, you know, America, but it's like, it's really kind of sad that she didn't like pop as much and people like you know I think that there are certain people that know her name know about her but she's kind of like in many ways forgotten it's just like a lot of people sing a whole new world but they don't think about Leia Salonga and what she brought you know to that to that song 
and even, you know, something in Milan, you know. But what can you do? They said listen to her songs, like, you know, share the joy, share the love and the fun with other people so they can listen to their songs. And, um, I also love, I love this song. So we're talking Laika, Gyranod, 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 I don't know. Uh, that's kind of annoying. This, I hate when these radio stations, like, um, like, uh, let me get, let me rant a little. I don't like it when these radio stations get artists and they have these things but then they have these openings with this loud music and even telling you like we can see you've got you've got printouts everywhere that say the name of the radio station everybody knows what radio station this person is performing at so like chill you don't need to you just have the logo you could say the radio station at the beginning but you don't need this stupid music like we're here for the artists like again you're you know you're bringing us the artist but like still like i don't need that intro thank you very much especially because they're very loud a little too loud and it'd be nice just to go straight into like the song or that person talking and i'm not even uh, able to enjoy this thank you thank you wish 107.5 offending all their listeners I'm horrible I know but so so good Kabilang Buhai is what I'm listening to right now which you could be listening to after this when you play the, the playlist after of course you gotta finish this video no And then, you know, we end with a little, I'm a goof, like I said, I'm goofy, so this is not really a Filipino, like a Philippines song, but it's definitely a Filipino song. We're talking passion, come on, Jerry pa- Jeremy Passion, he came out with, you know, I, I, I think this is an important time more than ever to like, you know, it's still like an important time to like, listen to the facts, the facts that he's dropping in this this updated version of, of Lemonade called Coronade question mark so um, yeah be safe quarantine uh, we are living in perilous times and so don't kill other people's families or your own family but you know have fun as much as you can and there's there's workarounds. There's ways to have fun. You don't have to go out to a bunch of people in crowds and get crowded and you know and be dangerous. Like you can have fun at home. If if you're if you can't have fun at your house, then you need to work on getting a, like a better house or setting up your space that it's more fun and worthwhile for you. Why are you living in you know like even like you know even in the most dilapidated space you can still make it fun and as comfortable as possible you can still figure out ways to be smart and enjoy yourself even and you have the internet like you're clearly using something to connect to this so you're clearly having fun if you're if you've made it this far then you're having fun so right then you can have all kinds of fun by subscribing to the channel, hitting that thumbs up, and helping me take over the world. Cause I'm that's that's my mission is to you know I'm gonna I'm gonna be the emperor of the world one day. <laughs> I'm horrible. I know. This is, ha, take peace. Take peace with you.